Praise the name of the Lord, dear, dear sisters and brothers. I hope you are doing well in the Lord Jesus Christ. As you can see, I'm smiling because the strength of the Lord is in me. Hallelujah. I'm just happy to be here to talk with you guys today. My question to you, do you still have the love of the Lord Jesus in your life? Do you still have that zeal of serving the Lord with all your strength in you? I know you know it very well. Some of you, you started very well to serve the Lord. You could evangelize, you could walk around in town and tell people how God is great and bring souls in the kingdom of God. But as time went by, you stopped. Where is that zeal in you again? Where is that zeal whereby you could wake up at 12, at 3, and start praying? Hallelujah. Where did that zeal go? You see, these are the last hours. And we ought to be very careful. Because the devil came to steal and to kill. Hallelujah. But now, since we, we are still breathing, that means you can rekindle it. If it is down, we can rekindle it again. Hallelujah. And the Lord will help us. I know we are human beings. Sometimes you go through some hard situations in our lives, but that should not stop you from rekindling your love, from rekindling your, your zeal to Jesus. Because we know that we breathe because of him. Without him, nobody can breathe. And without him, nobody can do anything. Hallelujah. Open your Bible. Let us read the book of Romans 12, verse 11, and see what it tells us. It says, do not be lazy. But work hard serving the Lord with all your heart. Hallelujah. You still serve the Lord with all your heart. Is your mind still on the Lord? You wake up on, in the morning, you go to your work, but you, you, work, you, you are working like as if you are doing it for the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you still have that spirit in you? Hallelujah. We see the word zeal is a Greek word, which means serving the Lord with all your heart. Hallelujah. Let us read the book of Revelation 2.10 and see what it tells us. Hallelujah. Dear sisters and brothers. So it says, be faithful even if it gets you killed. And I will give you a crown of righteousness. Hallelujah. The zeal of the Lord. You don't mind what is going to happen in your life. Whether it takes to being killed, you don't mind because you know you have the power of the Lord in you. Hallelujah. The zeal. A good example is Paul. We see Paul was so zealous in the eyes of the Lord. He loved the Lord so much in that he never even minded about his life. His life was worth nothing, nothing to him. Hallelujah. But when we check on the, today's Christians, we are so much different. The zeal of the Lord in us has disappeared. Right now, a small pain, just mere headache. When it comes in your life, you start panicking. But we see Paul here. When he was in jail, he knew that he was going to be beheaded. He was going to die. He was going to lose his life. Instead of asking the saints to pray for him, instead, he's there to encourage them. Instead of the saints to come and encourage Paul, it's Paul who is encouraging the saints. Yet is the one who is in torment, in jail. Hallelujah. Let us rekindle our love in Christ Jesus. You see, the Bible tells us that if you love your life so much more than Jesus, if you love your life more than Jesus, then you lose it. But if you lose your life here just because of Jesus, then you'll gain it back. Hallelujah. I think as today's Christians, there are some areas that we need to work out on our salvation. Hallelujah. We need the zeal of God in us again, in pursuit for our own spiritual growth, because we need to grow in spiritually. These things of remaining like babies, you still want to take milk. You'll never grow. You need to grow up. You need to grow spiritually, hallelujah. When you open your Bible and read, and read Hebrews 5.12, you see that 
the Hebrews were not growing spiritually because they had lost that zeal of the Lord in them. It, has de it had disappeared, and so they were not even strong again. They remained in their childhood. They, remained, they were babies. They were not even growing spiritually. Hallelujah. And so they could not eat the solid food. Hallelujah. Let us read the book of Hebrews 5.12. It says, By now you should be teachers, but you need someone to teach you again. The first reasons, the first lessons of God's message. You still need the teaching that is like milk. You're not ready for the solid food. Anyone who lives on milk is still a baby and knows nothing about the right teaching. Hey, we need to grow spiritually, hallelujah. You cannot remain in as babies anymore. When you continue to read, it says, but, but sold food is for those who are grown up. They have practiced in order to know the, dif the difference between good and evil, hallelujah. So let us go on to grow up to grown-up teachings, hallelujah. Let us not go back to the beginning lessons we learned about Christ. We should not again start teaching about the faith in God and about things that things turning away from those acts leads to, to death, hallelujah. You see, it takes us, I mean, it takes you, it takes work, hallelujah. You cannot just sit down there and wait to grow spiritual. You have to do something. Hallelujah. It takes your conscious effort. I know it's painful because it removes you from your comfort zone. Hallelujah. So that you can grow. When you're in your comfort zone, you cannot know about Jesus. You cannot have that zeal of the Lord. It gets you out of that comfort zone completely so that you can get to know about Jesus. In other words, it changes you completely. It makes you a new person, the zeal of the Lord. You used to sleep like a dead body at night. You start waking up at night to pray. Every time you, you wake up, you want to pray because the zeal of the Lord is burning in you. You cannot sit in your house. You want to go outside and start evangelizing to people, to bring souls to God the zeal of the Lord. So in pursuing that zeal of God, that spiritual growth, we need to be jealous of our time spent with God, with the Lord, hallelujah. And also remember that you cannot be zealous for God if you don't have the Holy Spirit. You need to be filled by the Holy Spirit for you to have the zeal of the Lord in you. Because the Holy Spirit is there to encourage you, is the one that gives you that zeal, hallelujah. So let us grow up spiritually in the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you are the one that I'm talking to right now, and you feel like you don't have that zeal of the Lord again in you, you used to pray, you no longer pray. You used to fast, you no longer fast. You used to do things for God, but you've stopped. That, that desire has dis disappeared in you. I want you to repeat this prayer after me, hallelujah. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I ask you today to come and fill me by your Holy Spirit. I want to be zealous in you again. Hallelujah. Please, Lord, rekindle the fire and the zeal of the Lord in me again. In Jesus' name I've prayed. So start working according to the will of God. When the Holy Spirit has come to you, you will notice there are some changes in your life. You will start changing. When the Holy Spirit comes in you, you cannot remain the same person again. Hallelujah. So start walking according to the will of God. And remember the Holy Spirit speaks. So when he speaks to you, be a good listener and put it in work. Hallelujah. Be blessed.